Hi everyone, and welcome to TWF. Uh, for, uh, hold on, mistake. Hi everyone, and welcome to TWF Friday Night Smackdown. I am Michael Cole, here with uh, Aladdin and Corey Graves. And you know we made a mistake when we, uh, we made a mistake of who, what show we were doing that happened. Well, Michael Cole says we're calling the right show now. Yeah, we are, Aladdin says. I'm filling in for Edward Collins, or maybe I might be taking over full-time for Edward Collins. We never know. That's right, Corey Graves says. It's good to have Aladdin, at least someone who's so big his head will stick out of the side of the ring. Don't, uh, said Corey Graves, don't start saying mean things like that, Michael Cole says. Don't be start putting down Aladdin now. You know, and now we're going to have, and now we have Ashley Williams back. All right, Ashley Williams says, it's been some time since I got punted in the head and RKO'd it. So Randy Orton, here today on Friday Night Smackdown, me and you are going to have a talk. Me and you, we're going to be dealing. What should I do with you, Randy Orton? What should I do? That's what I don't know. Should I put you in the ring with someone, Randy Orton? Or should I fire you? I've been thinking, I've been thinking, how do I go by handling this shit? And then, well, I guess something will come to me when it comes to me. So get your uh, butt out here, Randy Orton. Randy, I don't know who to fire. I don't care about who you think you are. I don't give two shits about that. But you coming around. You have your hangout with with Drew McIntyre and King Kong fine. Why not? But when you started your shit with me, when you struck me and punted me in the head, then you did something that you weren't not allowed to do. You do think about that oversight that was put down many, many months ago about only fighting someone who was a fighter or a wrestler. Well, let me tell you, you don't have to fear about that anymore. Because I did some talking with Xena and with the owner Xena, the four-sitter Godzilla, the under-four-sitter Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And I step down as matchmaker so we can have a new matchmaker whoever that new matchmaker will be and that new matchmaker will be the one who sets up our fight well who is that new matchmaker gonna be you tell me let me introduce you, Randy Orton, to the new matchmaker of the TWF. He was formerly, he was formerly a highwayman, but he's now going to be the matchmaker once again. Kurt Angle. Oh, that's right, Kurt Angle said. It's true, it's true. I'm back in oversight again. And like I said back when I was back when I was the uh, overseer of the TWF, this would have been anywhere between 28 between YL to about 29 between YL. We settle our things in the ring. So today on Friday Night SmackDown, I'm gonna see Randy Orton fight Ashley Williams. Let's do it now. Well, you do know that Kurt Angle is now the new matchmaker of the TWF now. And oh, and Randy Orton and Ashley Williams going at it here. 
Randy Orton being taken down by Ashley Williams here. A body slam and a drop kick, Michael Cole says. I tell you right now, Corey Graves says, there ain't no way Ashley Williams know how to wrestle. You know? Yeah, he's a fighter. A wrestler, he's not. Oh! And Ashley Williams was about to do the, Ash, this, the Williams stunner, but Randy Orton gets out of the ring. Corey Graves says, it don't take much to outwise Ashley Williams. Ashley Williams could have been shielded from what's going to happen, but when he stepped down as matchmaker, now that oversight no longer applies to him anymore. It does not, as Corey Graves says. That's his loss. That's his mistake. Hey, Aladdin said, oh, he just dropped Ashley Williams right down on his head. Aladdin said, what the? RKO. And now, Randy Orton is now going to get ready to, I guess, punt Ashley Williams in the head again like he did before. Aladdin said he missed. Yes, he did, Michael Cole said. He missed it. Ashley Stunner. The William Stunner to Randy Orton. Will he win this here? One, two, and only a kick out. You know, and Randy Orton taking down Ashley Williams, Michael Cole says. Yeah, Aladdin said, I'm going to Ashley Williams a lot of, lot of onlook for taking a fight to Randy, to Randy Orton. But now he's stomping on all his feet now. Yeah, he is, Aladdin says. This is what Randy Orton does good at. Corey Graves says, stomping on every chunk of the living body. And now Randy Orton, RKO on Ashley Williams. This is done, Michael Cole says. It is truly done. Yes, Ashley will. Uh, it's this is done. Michael Cole said Randy Orton's gonna win. RKO. Yeah, Aladdin said Ashley Williams put up a big fight on Randy Orton, but at the end, I think Randy Orton's gonna win. Yeah, my this is the way it's going to be. Corey Gray says I'll give Ashley Williams all the on look in the world for putting up the fight, but at the end of the day, it's all Randy Orton. One, two, three. Ding ding ding. Here is your winner. Randy Orton and Randy Orton now once again has beat Ashley Williams here on Friday Night Smackdown on the fight Lord going to see if Ashley Williams is all right checking up on him. Randy Orton got him out of the way no 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 don't do that no no don't do that he's gonna pawn him he's gonna pawn Ashley Williams Randy Orton, you will not pun Ashley Williams. If you do that, then you will not fight Drew McIntyre next month at Halloween Havoc or Fright Day or Spooky Day. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever, Randy Orton says. And a quick thinking of the new matchmaker, uh, Kurt Angle. Quick, fast thinking of the new matchmaker, Kurt Angle making sure that Randy Orton would not punt Ashley Williams in the head, Michael Cole says. If he would have done it, he would have lost his seat to fight Drew McIntyre next month. Well, that's right, Aladdin said. I give all the on look to Ashley Williams for giving a fight to Randy Orton here on Friday Night SmackDown. But at the end of the day, sadly, Randy Orton got the greater of him. Randy Orton will get the greater of any man. Randy Orton, he is a learner of the game. He has been in WWE for 20 long years, the TWF less than those 21 years. But you can say that, oh, you could say he's good and he's only a wrestler since his grandfather and father were wrestlers before him. But not his grandfather or his father would have gone, has done the things or had been as big as he has. And Randy Orton, at the end of the day, will take anyone out of a RKO, Corey Graves says. Well, you're right about that one, Michael Cole says. Randy Orton still has hang-up. You're right about that, Corey Graves. Randy Orton still has got hang-ups with Drew McIntyre, King Kong, 
and Ashley Williams, and who knows who other hang-ups he'll have of other folks. Michael Cole said, I really don't know, Aladdin said, and I don't want to be one of those foes that Randy Orton's making. And I want to know something, Aladdin said. What does Diva Talks think about Kurt Angle being her boss once again? Well, that would be hard to say about Kurt Angle being her boss. Uh, it was hard to say. But we know one woman who never has lost for words, and that is Renee Young. Thank you, Michael Cole. I am going to be talking with the new matchmaker of the TWF just named today, former WWE IW Hall of Famer, WWE Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle. Well, Kurt, it's good to see you once again as the matchmaker this time at the TWF. Yeah, well, Renee, it's good to be back here. I didn't know that when I got a call from the owner, Xena, and four-sitter Godzilla and under four-sitter Hunter Hearst Helmsley and the Board of Overseers that I, and also the champion, the, the winnings team, that I would be named a new matchmaker. Now I know many folks have been matchmaker before me. Godzilla, Ernest P. Worrell, Sailor Moon, Lord Zed, Diva Talks, uh, you know, Aries, Fedor Long, just to name some of those folks that were a four setter, but that were matchmakers before me. Uh, you know, four, it goes on and on. Uh, you know, but whatever the grounds is, if I'm leaving out someone, let me know. But at the end of the day, I know that I'm going to do what I have to do. And I will make sure that this show runs smoothly and all oversight is followed. And if some wrestlers or some fighters don't like it, that's too bad. And I will keep the oversight. And it's true. It's true. Well, Kurt, it's good to have you back here in the TWF being the, uh, I guess, the matchmaker now. And we do know that there have been many matchmakers before you and some of them have done good job and some have done a bad job. Well, I'm not here to say if I'm going to do any more good job than A, Renee, but I am here to say that I will keep the oversight. You know? And I understand someone else wants to meet with, uh, with Kurt Angle, too. Well, Kurt... I know you haven't I know that you haven't seen Diva Talks yet, but you are her overseer. Yes, I am Diva Talks's overseer, and I will be meeting with her if it won't be today, at least it will be on Monday. But I'll tell you right now, I'm good I'm happy to be back and I am gonna keep the oversight one way or the other. Well, that was my talk with the new matchmaker of the TWF, Kurt Angle. Back to you, Michael Cole. Well, thank you, Renee Young, for talking with Kurt Angle here on Friday Night SmackDown. And I wonder if Randy Orton has any going to have any more hang-ups besides the one he already had with Drew McIntyre, King Kong, Ashley Williams. You think that's going to come to an end? I truly don't know. Uh, I truly, you know, do not know. But that does look like, I don't know, Michael Cole says. All I know is Randy Orton's got his hang-ups with those three, with actually with, with uh, Drew McIntyre, King Kong, and Ashley Williams. How many more folks he going to hang up with? We don't know. Uh, Michael Cole said, I don't know either, Aladdin said, but I do know one thing. If Randy Orton goes around behaving like a, like a creep, hail or cunt, there will be someone who's going to stand up for him. Oh, Corey Graves says, Kurt Angle, the only grounds to why Randy didn't do anything to him because he's a matchmaker, and only a wrestler and fighter can be struck or hit. You know? That's the only shielding that Kurt Angle has when it comes to the misbehaving of Randy Orton, Corey Graves says, and that's the truth. Well, that's all the time we got here for TWF Friday Night SmackDown. I'm Michael Cole for Aladdin and Corey Graves. We hope you like Friday Night SmackDown, and we'll see you tomorrow.